governor told Savannah, what the system has now is a perception problem. People have to believe they're represented by the justice system or we have a fundamental societal problem. And you're with CCTV News. We'll have more stories for you very shortly, but uh, we're going to bring you now all the latest on Ebola. A point of convergence of China and Russia. Manjoli, China. Point of convergence of China and Russia. Manjoli, China. Is Asia. Asia means business. Sports scene, the heart and soul of sport. A Cuban doctor who contracted Ebola while treating patients in Sierra Leone has been cured after experimental treatment at a Swiss hospital. Felix Baez re reunited with his family at Havana's airport shortly after arriving and the 43-year-old flew to Geneva on November the 20th after testing positive the day before. He received the Canadian experimental treatment ZMAB, a precursor to ZMAP, which was used to treat U.S. patients. The hospital said Baez received both ZMAB and untested the flu drug Favipavir, made by Japan's Fujifilm. Baez stayed in an isolation unit for 16 days. Cuba has won international praise for sending 256 medical workers to West Africa to fight the worst outbreak of Ebola, which has so far killed more than 6,000 people. And uh, we can tell you about a UN peacekeeper who was also being confirmed of contracting Ebola in Liberia. And the Nigerian soldier is expected to arrive in the Netherlands this weekend. CCTV correspondent Angela Coppolo has more from Monrovia. Here's what we know so far. Having spoken to the official spokesperson for the UNMIL operation here in Monrovia, there's a confirmed case that a UN peacekeeper has contracted the virus. They've contact, tra contact traced him backwards and found 16 people he interacted with um, in this last period. They're in quarantine and they're not showing any symptoms of the virus. The, pa uh, the patient, as they refer to him, is being evacuated back to the Netherlands. That's what we know for now. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Monrovia, Liberia. Peru is hosting delegates from nearly 200 countries at the UN Climate Change Conference in the capital, Lima. The priority for this year's event is to limit rising greenhouse gas emissions. 